All right. Greg says, uh, I use focus mode on my iPhone a lot, but one feature I didn't use until today is the home screen feature to hide all pages except for the ones that I set focus. Uh, he says, I think I learned this from the show and you may have, I'm not sure. I think we talked about it incidentally. So great. I'm glad I love that still counts as one of your five things, even if we didn't intend for you to learn it. That's how it works. He says, uh, I put a mind, I put all my mindfulness apps on a few pages and then moved the pages in the order I wanted. One thing I didn't care for was that if I wanted an app on that focus page, then I have to move it to a different page than it was on originally. And if it's not on my first page anymore, the page I want it, just to make it in a focus, like you, it was an either or thing or so he thought he found a solution to this. He says, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but I found a way to have an app on two pages at once. Here's how go to the app library and do a search for the app that you want to put on a focus page. Once you find the app, then just tap and hold the app to get it into jiggle mode. And then drag it down and move it to the focus page you want it to be on. Now it's on two pages. So the, I guess the idea would be when you're not in a focus mode, put it on one page and then go to the app library, grab it and put it on the second page. He says, I, originally this happened and I was scratching my head and thought it was annoying to hide it. I just chose to move it back to the app library after trying custom pages and was frustrated that I had to move an app from the original location. I happily remembered this. Nice find, Greg. Yeah, I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. <laughs> it's hard to say, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. I like it. Thanks for sharing that.